Mike and I had we had some issues this past week. He called me a dick rider on Keemstar's podcast. <laughs> Why are we even he on me, Keemstar's called, podcast? So that's the thing. That's where my problem was. I said he said he was going on. I said you already did it once, you know. Oh, you, this is your second. I time. said you really got to go. He's like, well, Bank, it's not well, Keemstar. Banks called it a flavor. <laughs> Banks called it a flavor. <laughs> So I was like, okay, you know what? I understand. I like banks. I get I get how favors work with friends. Recently. I, I get it. I like banks. Yeah. And obviously. Uh and <laughs> and then he goes on. He says I he says I was dick riding. He said I was trying to ride Harry Styles' dick. Cause the dress thing, you remember you remember how that went, right? I yeah, felt like we I felt, all finished and you went back there and you're like, actually, I don't give a fuck about that. I'm just trying to start some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You're I'm bad. fucking kidding. Yeah, hey, you. You're bad. I'm kidding. You weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> you did that. That was bad. No, so you fucking that was jerk. The, that was the narrative that Mike <laughs> that no, that never happened. That let me. I'm gonna, why are you telling people it did? You son of a bitch. Fine. I sh <laughs> go ahead. Sorry. Continue with your context. No, I no, that was it. That was it. I I felt like your interpretation of how I really like actually felt about that situation was so far from the truth. Yeah, it was fucked. It was, it was chalk. And, and, and I was confused why, why it was, it was said in the way it was on a podcast where I'm not even sure why you were there. Well, as and so you, it hurt me. I know that. And I apologized offline to you. We've talked about it at length. Um, I did the podcast cause banks asked me to as a friend. He said, yo, we need a guest for our first podcast. I said, let's do it. Um, I, I, tr I, I treaded and waded into waters that could, could drown me and, and, uh, and they did. And, uh, you know, I, I got comfortable, made a remark that, that, um, just f fell completely flat and just hit in a way that I didn't intend for it to. And, um, you know, listen, this big mouth of mine, bro, it's a, I've learned that it's a gift and a curse. It, it get, really it is. It gets you in trouble, Mikey. It does. And it, 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 it creates beauty. <laughs> And it and it and it creates death. It's a dual. It's a double edged sword. And um, in this instance, it was a. Uh, uh, it wasn't. It was something I said that I wish I hadn't. And um, you know, you live, you learn, you move on. Um, you and, live, you and, learn. And, and, and you also and you also try to. I think the big learning for this one for me was just being a little bit more cautious at when and where I say shit. I've made a. I've made jokes or. or I'm hot gonna make takes. this so simple yeah, for you. Yeah, just tell the truth. Don't well, lie. Hold on a sec. Don't lie. Well, hold on a sec. I don't, if you would have gone on, I think and, I misinter. I think I misinterpreted you. You really hammered it home afterwards, which was that yo, like I don't know if we got our signals crossed, but I honestly do feel the way I feel about the Harry Styles situation, and you really hammered it home. Well, dude, I called George because I wanted uh, an object or subje objective opinion about it because he was here, and I said, I, I said, yo, when I made my take about the Harry Styles situation on the podcast, did you think I was doing that to gain some sort of pub positive public sentiment? Yeah. And he said, on the podcast, I wasn't At sure. First, yeah. I wasn't sure. And then afterwards, when we ended, and you kept uh, during our debrief talking about it. He said, "I knew, I knew you like actually felt yeah, that so way." So maybe about I it. just didn't pick. I don't know. Maybe I didn't pick up on it as I, much. I, I, uh, I talked to uh, uh, some other people about it after the fact. I hit up some other creators after this last one. I talked to Andrew Scholes, and and I think I think there's people like me, a little bit closer to me that that. Um, he was like, yo, you said something on a podcast that got people talking. It was entertaining. Like, what's the problem? And I was like, that's kind of how I look at it, too. I think I think I just need to be a little bit more sensitive and a little bit more um, open to the fact that people take shit very seriously. That was a very important topic to you that got a lot that made a lot of noise, made a lot of people talk. And to you, it was a very important topic. And I, I think I, I toyed with it like it was uh, just some joke, you know, or just some little thing. And there's like a few. This, thank you. I'm, I am sorry, and you know that, and I do need I do need to do a better job, and that's all, and that's all I can do, you know. But please, just like, just like, just please <laughs> stop, stop fucking up with me, bro. Please, yeah. that's because that's the issue. Everyone's like, well, it's just one thing on a podcast. No, this is like strike four. Except yeah. I'm such a, I fucking love you, you scumbag, <laughs> and that's the issue. <laughs>